Hi and welcome to Next Tutorial. In today's lesson, we are going to learn all about percentage change in Excel. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So we have two examples here to demonstrate percentage change. The first percentage change that we want to demonstrate is this spreadsheet here. So we have a bunch of months over here on the left hand side. We have the actual expenditure for the month and the estimated expenditure for the month. And so we want to find as a percentage the change between those two values. Okay. Now there are a few ways to do this. The first way is to actually find the actual percentage. So all we have to do to find the percentage is we can divide this by this and that will give us the percentage changed. So now I can go over here and I can change that to a percentage. And if I change this value, let's say I only change it to 10. All right, so my actual expenditure was $10. My estimated expenditure was 100. I can see that the change is 10%, but this is not exactly what we want. All right, so let's say I spent over um, $100. Let's say I said $110 then I can see that the change has gone up to 110%. So it's not really what we want and we can put in a better formula to be able to calculate this percentage change. And so what the formula is, is we are going to look at the actual divided by the estimated minus one. So if we click on that, so if we press equals open bracket, the actual expenditure divided by the estimated expenditure minus one, and then we close bracket. Now I can see this is perfect for us because if I, if my actual expenditure was $80 and I estimated uh, $100, the leftover is that 20% there. And so now when I drag that down, all right, I can see that it applies to all of my cells. So let's say for example, um, I bring this number up to $120 in actual expenditure. You can see that now the change has moved to a positive value because this is actually more than this. But when I bring it back down to, let's say 90, the change is negative 10%. So now I'm, I've just formatted all these cells as uh, currency. So, or I can just press the dollar sign over here and I'm good with this uh, scenario. So now moving on to the next example. So in here, we are looking at the percentage which is increased by a certain amount. So let's say we have the start price over here of 100 and we want it to increase by, let's say 20%, okay? We know that the total is going to be 120 because 20% of 100 is 20. And so when you add the 100 and the 20 together, it will give you 120. Now, how do we put this into a formula? Again, if we follow our same principles as before, we can use this formula here that we, that we have. So which is the start price times open brackets, one plus the increased by value. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to change this to a percentage. So if I go over here and click percent, we have a little bit of a problem here and it goes to 2000 now. So to fix this, what we can do is we can actually delete that cell. We can make sure that that cell is formatted as a percentage before writing in a value. And now if I write in a value, press enter, now it's 20%. But if I didn't do it like that, Another way that I can do this is, let's say if I clear this formatting. So now if I do this again, and I wanna put the value first and then change it to a percentage, I'll need to put it in as a decimal, as 0.2, and then I can go over here to a percentage, and then I can change it. So you have to be careful on how you actually do that, whether you apply the percentage to the cell prior, and then you can write actually 20%, or, you do it afterwards but you need to make sure your decimals are 0.2 etc so now i'm just going to change this to a dollar sign um, just so we that we know that it's a dollar value so how can we add this formula the formula that we have here is the start price times open brackets one plus the increased uh, percentage so we'll open we'll start off our formula and it's the start price times open bracket, one plus the increase, close bracket, 
and there we have 120. It, it calculated it all for us, which is great. And so when you're done with that formula, all you have to do is just drag it down or double click that. And now it will create everything for you. So let's say, for example, you want to increase, you know, this value by, let's say, 100 percent. OK, you can see that it's doubled on that side so that we know that it's working. But that's about it. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.